love has a grasp on character-driven narratives, small in scope or large in scope. Thanks to Frank Herbert, here's a story that's on that scale, but with characters and relationships and stories. You know, and if these were the things that made me want to act. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Dune is the story of the Atreides family that falls into the trap set by the Emperor, who is getting more and more jealous of their growing popularity. House Atreides stands as a beacon where every other house in that galaxy is in reference to that, either as enemies or as friends. He wants to not only make sure that his people survive, but that his son is the kind of leader that he thinks he should be. Paul Atreides is the son of Duke Leto and Lady Jessica. And my initial conversation with Denis was simply begging him to, you know, be able to take part in the film. The great houses look to us for leadership and this threatens the Emperor. Gurney Halleck and Duncan Idaho did feel like big brothers. You know, they rib him, especially Jason. He's the protector of the Atreides. I mean, he's definitely the head knight who watches over the family. Zarkar! I mean, that's his sworn duty. I mean, that's what any honorable knight soldier does. No! Duncan! I mean, that's his family. That's who he bleeds for. Gurney Halleck is a combat trainer, and he's a warrior. Oh, man. I fight! He's a very strict, but fun, visceral, paternal, maternal. He's all of those things to Paul. Paul Atreides, you are your father's son. You are my son. Lady Jessica is part of the Order of the Bene Gesserit. This order that she's a part of, we can say, make her perhaps the non-traditional partner to Duke Leto. This group of women who carries enormous strength and power. They are bodyguards, they are fighters, they can read people. And this is what Jessica is having to deal with being a mother, a lover, and this Bene Gesserit. How can the Emperor take everything we've built and give it to that Duke? When is a gift not a gift? Every uh, movie needs its, its uh, bad guys, and the Harkonnens are the old ancestral enemies of the Atreides. The Harkonnen have been a very dark, sadistic family in this galaxy. Frank Herbert created a very powerful character into Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. He just shows up, and then his shadow looms throughout the film. He's a cause of many people's death. He feeds off of fear. He feeds off of pain. He's a vicious, sadistic person. A squeeze rabbit. Squeeze hard. Yes, Uncle. And the Fremen. Kill them all. The Fremen are native tribes. <laughs> People living in the deep desert. They had the capacity to adapt to the toughest environment. Deep heat, massive sandstorm, dangerous predators all around. Stilgar is, is the leader of the Fremen. He is a powerful character. He's a warrior but also it's a warrior. He, he worries about the future. Take good care of your family, Dr. Kynes. And the surface was seemingly just somebody who's an ecologist, someone who cares about the Fremen. But then you start to understand how much pressure she is actually under. Paul is dreaming about this strange young woman that uh, keeps talking to him in his dream. Paul. She feels like an old friend again and, and someone that like uh, wants to guide him. Follow the friend. Johnny is native to Arrakis. She's used to this hostility between her people and the people that are trying to take from her land. She's a fighter at the end of the day. House Atreides and the Harkonnen have an ancient grudge, and the forces that they're up against are much greater than he had anticipated. They're on a path of conflict, and it's the moral catalyst to Paul's arc towards something greater. 